Hi. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you? Fine. And how about about you? Good. I'm good. Thank you so much. My name is Arif, and uh, may I know your name, please? My name is Muhammad Marzahir. And what can I call you? You can call me Umar. Umar. How are you, Umar? I'm fine. Where are you? I'm from Lahore. Okay. And right now, where are you sitting? Uh, I'm in room. In the room. Good. Uh, can you tell me something about Lahore? Sorry. Can you tell me something about Lahore? What you like about it? What you don't like about it? Lahore is a very rushy area, a very rushy city, and it's very beautiful. And um, many places are very beautiful. Uh, this, for example, Bashir Mosque, Shahi Kila, and Minare Pakistan, and uh, <clears throat> a lot of uh, rushy uh, areas in Lahore. For for example, Andron Lahore and uh, uh, Ichra etc. And is there anything you don't like about Lahore? Nothing. Really? Yes. Good. Okay. And uh, do you know why you are taking this test? Uh, because uh, universities accept this test, so I decided uh, this test. Hmm. Which university have you chosen? Uh, I have chosen three universities: uh, De Montfort University and London South Bank University and Bradford University. And which course do you want to study there? Uh, I choose uh, computer science and uh, software engineering. So it means that you want to study two courses? Uh, no, one courses. I I have applied in two courses. Okay, and you you want to start uh, study either of them? Yes. Good. What will you do after you graduate? Um, I am working in good company. And uh, I am working in software house. Now, after you graduate from the UK University, what do okay. you want to do? Uh, after graduation, I do uh, work in uh, UK sometime, uh, and then we will return in Pakistan and work in uh, uh, software houses. Some, um, and then I will start my own business. Good. So, uh, Umar, may I see your passport, please? Oh, sir, sorry, Abhi. Then I will fine. not. Fine, fine. What's your date of birth? Uh, my date, uh, my date of birth is uh, third February two thousand two. Two thousand two. Okay, great. Uh, have you received your presentation topic? Yes, I received. Uh, what is it? What's the topic? <laughs> Uh, my topic is women are underrepresented in the movie industry. That's correct. So before you can begin, let me remind you that you cannot speak less than three minutes. I cannot allow you to speak more than five minutes. You cannot read. Okay. You cannot use a script. You can take notes, but you cannot read from anything. Otherwise, you will lose marks. And you can okay. start by saying, "I would I'd like to start now, please." Okay. I will begin my presentation now. Historical analysis of the film industry show that leading roles have been highly dominated by men in the film industry. We can see that fictional characters that are quite familiar today, such as uh, Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, etc., all have been characters that portrayed the strengths and capabilities of men. While simultaneously, women have been awarded weak and sporting roles only uh, it is rare to find any good movie with female lead actress the gender disparity is now reducing but there is a long road ahead and how equal representation can be achieved is what i will discuss in this presentation first of all since beginning of the 21st century our societies are realizing and acknowledging that the uh, inequality is an injustice in different fields similar is the case with gender equality in every industry and it has become a social change 
uh, uh, women are getting more number even valued equal to or even above men in some cases a recent study by the guardian showed that the number of women working in the film industry uh, in the film industry uh, reached as historic high in 2019 but men still outnumber women 4 to 1 in key role and a study by the center of study of women in film industry and television at San Diego University revealed that women made up 20% uh, 20% behind the roles uh, movie uh, on the top 100 domestic grossing films uh, grossing films uh, a sharp uptick from 16 percent in 2018 uh, in 2018 when it come to see like a, a job uh, in so like cin uh, cinematographer and director and men continues to dominate this domination needs to be handled uh, with good response from public and people involved in the film industry it is important that film industry provides more opportunities of women theirs as theirs and more stake at here. The stories that are told on the screen are hugely influential. As, uh, uh, as a parent, I would both my son and my daughter uh, to see the images of strong women on screen as often as possible. And nonsense scenes from movies should be removed to discontinue the stereotypes such as women uh, wear heels and uh, make run in them in panicking situations. That not a real world. Women are scientists and athletes and strong, and uh, uh, they are uh, sensible to enough to know that heels are not the best option when being chased by anything or when they have to run fast. Such myths about women roles should be crashed to make a better image of women in general conclusively i believe that the current direction of the film industry in term is providing uh, is providing equally opportunities and equally representation is satisfactory but there is a long road ahead and more opportunities ahead so the whole industry needs a better image uh, to push out the better image of women and equal uh, and uh, develop a character of women equally as men. Thank you for the time. You're welcome, Omar. Very good. Okay, now we will proceed to stage three. Your voice is muted. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much, Omar. We will proceed to stage uh, three, which is about the writing task. Do you remember okay. what you wrote about? sorry do you remember what the topic of your essay was yes i remember uh, the advantages and disadvantages of homework correct can you summarize your essay please okay uh, i will discuss advantages and disadvantages of homework uh, conclusively uh, is, uh, our advantages is uh, homework has been a traditional method uh, traditional method of revision and extra learning uh, which has increased creativity imagination and thinking capacity of students and student learns to deal with on tasks uh, uh, do research and uh, come up with creative solutions and creative solution uh, creative solutions and get good grades so uh, homework allows to uh, teachers articulate the syllabus in such a way that uh, coursework is uh, coursework can be taught in school and uh, some other tasks provide as homework for students to complete full syllabus and disadvantages uh, many now believe that homework is not a uh, uh, nothing uh, is nothing more than burden uh, which induces uh, stress and impression on students life uh, and uh, conclusively i believe that uh, homework is a good option for students to learn more and uh, as well as help in reducing class labors the cons of homeworks are concerning and increase stress level uh, on students life it should be minimal to reduce it should be minimal to reduce so that children can be involved in other extracurricular activities 
What was the uh, situation when you were in the school? Uh, uh, when a uh, homework takes a lot of time and cut many students' leisure time, and uh, same situation as for me, ke homework needs a lot of time and uh, cuts uh, free time and uh, free exercise. So all time uh, is taken homework. So and uh, is advantage this case students know about time management and students learn uh, to work independently. Were you happy uh, when the teacher assigned you homework? Or uh, which subject uh, were you interested in? I am interested in maths. Okay. So would you do the uh, maths assignment enthusiastically or no? Yes, uh, uh, I work independently. Okay, good. So, uh, while reading your essay, uh, I found some words, the meaning of which I would like to know. Uh, you wrote induce. Yes. What does it mean? Uh, beget. Mm -hmm. uh, beget and bring. Excuse bring. Me. Bring. Yes. Any other word? Uh, no. Nothing. Hmm. And what was the meaning of articulate? Uh, its meaning is communicate and convey. Okay. Uh, you wrote here that <clears throat> homework has been a traditional method of revision and extra learning which has increased the creativity, imagination and thinking capacity of students. What does capacity mean? Uh, capacity means ability. Any other word? Uh, no, nothing. In the, uh, in the last line of the third paragraph, you wrote, homework takes a lot of time, which is cut from many students' leisure time. Yes. What does leisure time mean? Uh, leisure time means free time, uh, extra time uh, means free time. Uh, if you were the head of educational department or uh, organization, uh, which brings reforms or changes in the education system around the country, uh, would you change uh, homework with some other activities or no? Would you prefer uh, assigning homework to students? Yes, uh, uh, we can introduce some fun activities as homework uh, uh, to watch movies and documentaries and uh, play certain games and uh, giving them homework uh, to most relevant about class material, class work. So this helped them. If you had... Uh... If you are given a chance to write an essay about something else other than homework, okay. uh, what would you write about? I wrote about on uh, the, uh, uh, of my country and uh, uh, discuss advantages and disadvantages and uh, about about growth. Tell me one advantage and one disadvantage about your country. Okay. Uh, the uh, first advantage is that you live with family. You live with family, and uh, you live with friends and many others, and uh, you will discuss all uh, friends and families. And disadvantages is uh, you are, uh, you are. Uh, you are not come in any feelings in good feelings and bad feelings uh, you are not come urgently uh, with some happens so this is the disadvantage okay 
Now let's proceed to the last stage of your speaking. I have shared a picture with you. Uh, you can look at the picture in your WhatsApp chat. Okay. Did you find it? Yes. You uh, have 15 seconds. Look at this picture and after 15 seconds, we will have a discussion. So, okay. Uh, I uh, I see um, I see uh, in this picture there are four women. Uh, uh, there are four women to clap each other uh, uh, and uh, uh, clap each other and this is where uh, and there are uh, where uh, uh, green trouser and yellow t-shirts and this is South Africa uh, women and uh, they are. Uh, they are uh, some. Uh, they are some happen in uh, his at this moment. Uh, so they are happy in uh, happy and feeling good. So, and uh, behind the picture, uh, there are uh, behind the picture. I saw a board and uh, uh, written on his board is emirates and uh, uh, they play in ground and uh, i saw uh, f uh, grass uh, on this ground his uh, which color is green uh do women play sports in your country yes yes do you watch their sports or games or not? Yes, I watch games. Ladies game. A cr uh, females cricket t uh, or football. No, no. I watched uh, men's cricket and uh, men's football match. I don't uh, I don't watch uh, any time women's cricket and women's football match. And what do you think about uh, women playing sports? Is it right or wrong uh, in your perspective? Yes, it is right. Uh, women are on uh, women are on uh, rules and the regulations. So this is uh, this is I'm very happy to see that okay, women are playing cricket and other sports. Okay. And uh, does the government do anything or support them or facilitate them in your country? Yes, uh, facilitate. Yes, uh, government facilitate to women's cricket team. Okay. And what do you think? Uh, what do you think about the the current T uh, Twenty World Cup? Uh, who do you think will win, win this World Cup? About men's and women's. I mean the the current one, uh, the men. Okay, uh, I think um, the well deserved team, uh, Pakistan. Uh, he efforts them and uh, win these matches. Uh, if uh, all players are in form, Shaheen Shah Fidi is in form and recover his injury, and Nasim Shah is. Uh, informed so he efforts uh, his efforts make uh, uh, possible to win the match okay that was the end of your speaking task thank you so much umar welcome